Feeling a bit like California's Silicon Valley, the R&D headquarters of Israeli startup PowerMat is about 15 minutes outside of Jerusalem. What about a wireless charger for cell phones? This was the question PowerMat CEO Ron Paliakin asked his future chief technology officer about five years ago. And he told him, you know, there's nothing we can do. You know, about a hundred years ago, Tesla tried it and then he couldn't do it. And then I said, you know, but you know, try harder. You know, I'm sure that we can. I'm sure that we can do something. Nikolai Tesla was the late 19th century inventor who came up with the giant devices later called Tesla coils, which demonstrated that electric charges could travel through air. But could these things really be made small enough to fit in cell phones? PowerMat's CTO has done it, but he didn't give me details. The technology is, is quite simple, basically, but you make it very small, very, very thin. can be embedded, as you can see, in our product, and, and it's working. Most PowerMats are plugged in and come in models for one, two, or three phones. But the company also has one that's battery-powered. So what I do is I charge it up, and then when I'm traveling, I'm going abroad, I only need to take this with me, and then I can charge up my phone very easily. Last year, PowerMat's successful partnership with American distributor Homedics brought the charging units to over 30,000 stores, selling about 5 million units. But PowerMat is always thinking bigger. Cohen shares some of their vision. We want wireless charging to be exactly like Wi-Fi. So when you're traveling, you're expecting to find Wi-Fi wherever you are. And PowerMat knows that as a tiny company, they have to partner with the biggies. They've inked deals with Arconis, the U.S.'s largest airport seating company, and with Technion, the largest office furniture maker, both of whom are embedding PowerMat's chargers in their furniture. Basically, this is a development by Technion. So they've taken the PowerMat technology and they've embedded it into their lamp. It's commercially available through the Technion website and they've already started selling thousands of units of it. Yeah, so what you do is you basically use one outlet, you know, you're already using it for your lamp, so why not also use it to charge your phone? But their master stroke lately is a recent $5 million investment by General Motors, which will help embed chargers between the seats of the Chevy Volt starting sometime next year. And the extended plans with GM include charging the Volt itself, a hybrid electric car that normally needs to literally be plugged in to recharge. When you charge up your car, uh, you know, if it's raining outside, it could be very dangerous. So one of the things that we are developing, but this is more long term, is to actually to have a solution to charge up the entire car wirelessly. Check out this PowerMat video from Las Vegas's yearly consumer electronics show. Their technology isn't sending electricity into a charger, but wirelessly powering up an appliance itself. I have a KitchenAid mixer, completely A wireless. real mixer? A real mixer, okay. absolutely. The only thing that's been modified on here is that it has a power mat receiver built on the inside. Okay. Just have to slide it forward. Oh, are you getting... That is incredible. Operates, no co no, no power no cords or on this nothing. countertop at all. Nope. Operates at full power, 300 watts. And slide it back <sighs> off. CTO Ben Shalom laughs when he remembers his first experiments with wireless electricity transmission, done at his job at Jerusalem's Science Museum for Children, where the gadgets are still a hit. Honestly, you know, the first experiment was done in the museum. We have lots of demonstration about lighting light bulb without power, without connection, and how to induct power, thing like this. Find out about other exciting stories at Israel21c.org.